Hello and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Today, we're in Craigle Park touring a culturally diverse home. From its Japanese-inspired wood elements to its koi ponds, beautiful Italian slab flooring and concrete features, this home is unique and without a doubt, does take your breath away. This home is on the market for 13,950,000 rand and boasts five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, carports and rooms that without a doubt will make you snatch this home up off the market as soon as you're able. I cannot wait to tour this home with you, but remember you can find your next home on privateproperty.co.za. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. The front door leads you straight into your kitchen as well as two of your living areas. Now that's not the only entrance to this house. Down this passageway you find your guest bathroom that contains a single toilet as well as a vanity with a really nice mirror and a view to the back side of the house, all very private. It also contains a scullery full of cupboard space and space for two separate fridges, both of them built in. But most importantly, it contains another route into the house. So if it's raining or if you wanna come from the garage, which is that door right there, you don't need to worry about running through this whole front area. This is for design, it's for awe-inspiring views of this incredible house that spans across three stories. But now let's talk about this kitchen. This kitchen is beautiful and very, very functional, containing a massive center island with your built-in chef sink, again, with that ease of use, or at least when you're washing up faucet. We've got a stunning lighting element hanging above it and plenty of undercounter storage. When we talk about undercounter storage, we need to mention the pantry area behind me. That's where your fridge is gonna be located, as well as your larger double sink. You've got space for three undercounter appliances there. You've got cupboard space for all your dry goods, or if you're entertaining a large amount of guests, that's where you're gonna be doing a lot of your prep work, keeping this clutter free. In terms of doing that prep work, whipping up those meals, you've got a six top gas burner, as well as oven, extractor fan, which is flanked by two windows, letting in a lot of natural light, which is mirrored by this over here. This whole section is sliding doors that open all the way up, giving you the best feeling of indoor outdoor living down this section is where i get to mention the very unique slab flooring now this is italian slab flooring that makes up the majority of the lower level of the house something we haven't seen before and it fits the aesthetic of this house perfectly another thing that fits the aesthetic of this house is the ceiling super high and we've got these cuts in the ceiling that i'm sure you can see and that houses all of your lights so you've got none of those hanging lights you've got inbuilt ceiling lights and then you've got those accent lights that run through those cuts another thing in the ceiling is a standard for homes of this price range and that is your built-in surround sound system it goes through the lounge the dining room area the kitchen and even upstairs so regardless of where you are in this house you get to use its smart home systems to control its lighting elements its heating elements and definitely its sound elements this here is your formal sitting room area coming from the kitchen you've got space here for couches for coffee tables if you want it and for chairs and it flanks this right over here another sliding stackable glass door that opens right out onto your koi pond take a look at that it is absolutely epic and it brings in all this air and such a nice breeze through the home moving on you've got an eight seater or possibly a 10 seater dining room table if you want to put a chair over there and over there plenty of space right close to the kitchen so if you are big into entertaining guests you get to do it here and if you're in the kitchen you can talk and interact with them you can see what's going on and they feel quite part of the action which i like i hate the dining room table areas that are tucked away very very far away from the kitchen if you're into cooking it's so difficult to interact with your guests it's not the case here 
and talking about interacting with your guests, I can imagine a lot of you must be thinking about sitting here in front of this fully enclosed fireplace right next to this. It is a solid steel slab of poured concrete that holds that heat in. You can stand here, light up a cigar, swill a glass of whiskey or even wine and interact with your guests. This home is without a doubt an entertainer's home, but it's a cozy one. It's one that is not too large to a point where you're gonna get lost or your guests are gonna get lost in the home. Now this, however, this is maybe your informal sitting room area. Massive space for a custom couch, as you can see, cruising all the way around in a small curve. Again, if you like the furniture here, and this couch is a smart couch, all automated with charging ports here for your phone. If you like the furniture, you can definitely engage with the owner or the real estate agent to have this furniture come with the house. You've got your TV right there and you flanked with, again, some sliding glass doors, ceiling speakers, plenty of windows all the way around you. And that really cool set of stairs that we're gonna be coming back to, floating stairs leading to the first and second story of the house. But while you're here and you're engaging and relaxing with your guests, you have quick and easy access outside. Now your outside area is gonna contain your pool on wooden decking. That decking matches the facade of the home, which is that beautiful burnt orange wood it's clad all the way up the home and it's all the decking both by the pool, by the koi pond and by the koi pond right there at the entrance where I said hello to you guys. On this deck, or should I say patio, however, you've got a lot to talk about. One is this pool here, perfect for laps, but it's also got built-in railings going all along the edges so people of all ages can enjoy their pool time, specifically during the summer. From this area, you also get to see the two standalone executive cottages. One of them comes with a kitchenette, its very own bathroom, bedroom, and a small living area. The other one, everything except the kitchenette. Behind me, you've got your patio area. You can see plenty of space there for you to deck it out however you want, excuse the pun. And also, perfect place front and center for your braai, South Africa's favorite pastime. But now I'm gonna have to bring you back inside. Let's head back to that staircase and take a look at the first floor of this incredible oriental home. Here we are on the first landing of this incredible home and some things have changed. The first thing that you'll notice that has changed is the flooring. We've swapped out those Italian slabs for this warm wood and real wood flooring all the way across the upper levels. We're on the first level in the first bedroom and we've got quite a bit to talk about here. One, because this home is situated in Craigavon, you have got really nice views. It may not be the views of the mountains or of nice pastures and streams, but all the homes around you are actually shorter than where you are. So you get uninterrupted views across everybody else's house and you can see the greenery, the trees that line the streets that make Craigavon what it is, a suburb to desire to live in. This first bedroom, very spacious. Privacy, however, is still a priority. We've got sliding shutters flanking the sliding doors that lead out onto your very own private balcony. We've got built-in cupboards, we've got space for TV. And we've also got, just around this corner, a Jack and Jill bathroom that is shared with the bedroom on the other side. It is currently configured as an office, and we're gonna take a look at those two rooms next. And here we are, this is a Jack and Jill bathroom since it is shared between these two bedrooms. We've got a bedroom here and another bedroom right in front of me. The bathroom has got some cool features. We've got two separate vanities, one on each side of the room. We've got a toilet as well as a walk-in shower, both of them encased in glass. And then we've got this right here, a floating bathtub flanked just underneath this entire wall of glass, minus maybe this little bit here. The glass is frosted for privacy, but it gives you such an incredible view of the tree. We've got a tree here that must easily be over 100 years old, and it spreads all of the way across the whole house. It looks incredible, and the colors, specifically during autumn and summer, match this home amazingly. I can only think of lying in here, relaxing, and being able to gaze upon that tree. Must be quite a treat. Through this door, we have now got the office space. This could easily be another bedroom, but right now, from wall to wall, it is a sliding door looking down onto the grounds of the house. As you can see, I did mention 
It is configured as an office space. So let's give you a nice look around here. All you need to do is put in your favorite dresser and you're ready to go. But this isn't the only thing on this floor. Let's take a look at the pajama lounge. Coming down this hallway, before we take a short trip up to the second level of the home, let's talk about the pajama lounge. But this right here is some of the commands for your smart home. You've got all of your touch capacitive buttons. And then this right here controls your blinds. So at a click of a switch, your blinds then rise all the way up into the ceiling. No need for any menial labor when you live in a house like this. But that brings us right here to this pajama lounge. Currently configured as a TV room, it's spacious, airy and open with its very own deck as well as a set of windows that look down onto that koi pond we saw before. Perfect for any activities you want. If you don't feel like taking that trip downstairs, you can sit here, grab a blanket, put your favorite movie on and enjoy your evening with quite a view. But then when we talk about this outside deck, I've closed the window so you can take a look at the first of the two fully enclosed standalone executive suites. Perfect for extended family or friends over to visit or even for work trips. Down that deck, you'll find a beautiful spacious bedroom, your very own ensuite bathroom with bathtub, walk-in shower, toilet and single vanity with mirror above it. Everything you'd need for a guest if they are staying the weekend. Now, however, it's time for us to take a trip up the set of stairs and see what the second floor of this incredible home looks like. Coming up the staircase, I feel the need to talk about it because it's not just a staircase, it really is a feature of the home. You can see these shelving areas coming all the way down my left hand side. You've got the beautiful wood slats that you see on both levels. And then you've got all these windows, skylights, slit windows, windows looking out the back of a home and this one right over here. I'm gonna step out the way so you can take a look at the view. I mentioned views downstairs. You can see all the way to Northcliffe Water Tower. Take a look at that. And now we've got a set of double doors that open up onto, and I'm sure you've guessed it, your master suite. And this is a master suite with a difference. This whole section here kind of acts as your walk-in closet. You've got cupboard space running the length of this wall almost into your ensuite bathroom. You've got cupboards there as well for your towels or any maybe of uh, your bathroom goods. And then more cupboards here. Beautiful lighting elements, but I love the high level windows running the length of the cupboards there. You can see the top of the trees as well as the top of the house. It really does ground you a bit and show you how beautifully and well thought out this house is. This bedroom is a larger, more spacious version of the one we saw downstairs. Plenty of space here for pretty much whatever you might need. We've got such a cool assortment of fat sacks here, all positioned for you to take the most advantage of the views. We've got these sliding glass doors with the privacy shutters and your very own balcony. And that is a balcony that does give you 360 degree views all the way off to Northcliffe Tower and Hyde Park over there. Now, however, it is time for us to talk about this ensuite bathroom. Come with me. And this is the open master bathroom that this home has. Front and center has to be this right here. A freestanding tub that is surrounded by windows, but still gives you absolute privacy. You've got your faucet coming up from the wood flooring, and you've got this feature wall made out of slats that also looks into your walk-in shower. Now this shower has an opening here, as well as on the other side, with two rainfall shower heads, beautiful subway tiling, and all the space you could need to have probably some of the most incredible showers. But bringing it back to this bathtub, we've got a sliding door there, as well as here, leading out onto a back balcony that is for exclusive use of this bathroom. The balcony is open on both sides, almost giving you 180 degree views, but with the trees around here, the views are mostly gonna be of nature, although living in the city and living a stone's throw away from Santon, I can't say that that's a bad thing. We've got a double vanity here, each with their own mirrors, under counter storage, and then just off to my right hand side, that is your bathroom. 
This is an incredible bathroom, an incredible and unique home, something we have yet to see on the Home Shopper Show before. And I think there's gonna be quite a while before we see another home that contains so many separate unique elements. But to end off, before we say goodbye, I'd like to leave you with just the view you'd have from this bathroom. So look off to your right, down the two stories, take in the incredible wood elements, and we'll talk to you about how you can become its next owner. And that, unfortunately, has brought us to the end of this incredible episode. We have toured five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, incredible entertainment spaces, living areas. We've seen beautiful fireplaces and sparkling blue pools. What's next, I'm sure, is you want to ask me how you can become the next owner of this incredible home right here in Craigle Park. What I'd like you to do is follow the link in the description of this video that will take you to this properties page on privateproperty.co.za. This home has been proudly brought to us by Remax Advantage and they have incredible homes to offer, not just the one you see behind me. That, however, does bring us to the end of this episode. So remember to like, share and subscribe to this video as well as our channels on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram so you don't miss out on any of South Africa's incredible homes that we'll be touring through the remainder of the season. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time right here. Goodbye.